Michael Nielsen, Barbara Oakley, Jeremy Howard, Rachel Thomas, Timothy Gowers, Aditya Vikram Agarwal, Nikhil Mahajan, Aparajita Singh. Do you know what's common between them? They are from completely different backgrounds, different fields, different goals. but they all ended up using the same tool to remember what actually matters what they all use quietly and consistently is anki in the previous video i walked you through how to install anki on different devices this one picks up right from there this is a part of learning series where i break down how to actually use anki not just as an app but as a complete memory system for competitive exams i am focusing primarily on upsc but anki is equally effective for exams like ssc banking neat jwe clat net and cat essentially any exam that demands structured revision and long term retention across a vast syllabus and if you're watching this video for the first time i am karthik basetti let's get started by setting things up the smart way by creating decks that actually make sense this is what anki looks like when you open it for the first time simple and minimal Now most people just throw all their flashcards into a couple of massive decks and try to wing it. That's not sustainable. If you are serious about UPSC or any long term preparation, your Anki setup should mirror the way your brain organizes information. So here is how I do it. I create separate decks for each subject: polity, economy, history, environment, and so on. and within each subject i build subdecks based on chapters major topics and even subtopics this structure isn't just about being neat it lets you target your revision if you want to revise just the environment section on biodiversity you can do that without digging through thousand irrelevant cards now let's talk about the source material for these cards i'll be using ncrts and you can download ncrts from the official website but that site is a maze so to make it easier i have already compiled and organized the most important ncrts sorted by subject and priority and uploaded them in my telegram channel the link is in the description feel free to check it out now let's talk about card making philosophy the big mistake most beginners make They copy and paste chunks of text into flashcards and call it notes. That doesn't work. Anki isn't about storing; it's about recalling. You should summarize, convert dense paragraphs into precise questions. One fact, one card, one concept, one recall point. And for that, I use close cards. They fill in the blank format. Close cards force you to think. They are what most advanced Anki users prefer. You can try other note types, basic rivers, etc. But if you use Anki seriously for more than a month, you will come back to close. I have already talked about different note types in my previous video. You can check it out. One more thing: decks versus tags. This confuses lot of people. Here is how to use them. Decks. are for your main structure subjects and subtopics tags are for your search tool for connecting cards across sources for example if i have cards from ncrt a youtube lecture and a test series all about fundamental rights i will tag them so when i want to revise just the topic i don't have to care where they came from i just search by tag simple flexible and powerful That's it for this one. Start small, stay consistent and keep building your brain one card at a time. Stay hungry, stay foolish. I will see you in the next video.